Hi, this is Josh, pharmacist with Learn Blood Sugar Testing. I'm going to take a look at the AccuCheck Instant Blood Glucose Meter. We'll show you how to set that up and use it, as well as the included uh, Lancet device. The meter itself, the test strips go in the bottom, in the slot right there. There's a test strip eject button located on the side, as well as a USB port. USB port is used to connect to a computer that does not charge the battery. There's the battery door on the back. And then it does indicate the units that your, your readings will be in on the back. And then there are up and down arrow buttons on the side of the meter. On the front of the meter, it will these color dots indicate if your reading is in the target range or not. It defaults to 70 to 160 as being the target range. When you first get your meter, you want to press the up arrow button to power on the meter. It will default to setup mode the first time you turn it on. If you'd like to re-enter setup mode, you just press and hold the bottom arrow and it takes you into setup mode. That's your option to set up your time. So you use your up and down arrow starting with the hour to adjust as needed. Once it's to your local time, you press and hold the top arrow button and then it goes on to minutes. And again, you can use your up and down arrow to adjust the minutes. Once it's to your liking, you press and hold the top button. Then we're on to the date. Again, using your arrow buttons to adjust. Once it's at the correct date, press and hold the top button. Then you're on to the month. Again, adjust if needed. Press and hold the top button. Then you're on to year. And you can adjust that as well with your up and down arrows. Press and hold. And now we're ready for testing. Next, we'll want to take a look at the Lancet device. That, of course, is what you use to poke your finger to produce the drop of blood. The cap is removed by just pulling it off. You want to note here that the cap does have a little notch here. That notch needs to line up with the little black line on the Lancet device when you reinstall it and it will click back in. The sleeve, when pulled forward, will eject the lancet. So you want to get your new lancet. Lancets are single-use items, so you want to use a new one each time. You put it in there till it's fully seated. Twist the top off and remove it. That exposes your lancet. And then we properly replace the cap till it snaps into place. You can adjust the depth by turning the the top of the Lancet device, I usually start around three or four and adjust from there as needed. To load the Lancet device, you push the end and the window turns yellow. When the, when the button is pushed and the spring sends the Lancet forward, it turns clear again. Next, we'll want to get a test strip from our vial. We always want to keep the vial of test strips closed when we're not retrieving a test strip. And then the silver end is what's inserted into the meter. So you just put that in. Wait till it's prompting for a drop of blood. You get that flashing drop of blood. And your hands are washed thoroughly in warm soapy water and dried. You want to make sure that the spring is charged. I like to use the side of a finger. So your clean finger, you press that button. If needed, you can gently massage the finger to ensure you have an adequate drop of blood. And then you just touch the test, you touch the end of the test strip to the drop of blood and it will be drawn inside. And there we go, 103. And if you notice that little arrow to the right of the glucose reading, it is indicating that we are in that target range of 70 to 160. Then you can use the test strip eject button to eject that. The meter will power off, or you can press and hold the top button to power it off. Then we want to remove our lancet from the lancet device. We pull off that top, and I like to jab it in to the piece of plastic that came off the top. That way it can't accidentally poke someone. And then you just move that sleeve forward, and that ejects the lancet. You can replace the cap 
and that's ready for next time. So that's a basic overview of how to set up and use the AccuCheck Instant. Let me know if you have any questions below in the comments. I will do my best to answer it for you. I'd also appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.